Hey, many fish. September 8th, 2017. And we're looking here at Irma again. Now she's shifted over to the west a little bit. Looks kind of weird. But anyway, what, what really came to me today was I'm looking at these satellite images. And there's a couple articles I came across referring to the sun, satellites, missiles, stuff like that. It was just a, a series of articles that came out today about space, generally speaking. And this one caught my eye. This is the uh, Washington Post. Democracy dies in darkness. And they're just talking about Cassini. This is the supposed uh, satellite that they sent to Saturn. And it's 900 million miles away. And this article is talking about four years ago, on July 19th, 2013, this scientist woman and a bunch of people got together. And they wanted to take a picture of themselves from Saturn. Isn't that cute? And so they organized all this stuff, and they wanted to create a, a memorable image, you know, a, a comparable to the blue marble. We all remember the blue marble, right? Everybody knows the blue marble. That's, that's the first real picture of Earth from space. The pale blue dot, you know, I don't know if everybody remembers that, but boy, oh boy, what an exciting, thrilling adventure that is. And of course, the pillars of creation which I have actually looked at in depth in the past, and I'm just going to call those back to remembrance real quick because we need to make it really clear what our friends at NASA truly are. And I would estimate them to be about anywhere from 90 to 99% lies on a daily basis. Yes, we do receive data and information. They do uh, very cool experiments they f they low earth orbit in space and do all kinds of neat things right but let me tell you when it comes to space that they tell us about deep space you're dreaming it is nothing at all what they tell us it is and men can never go there but i digress the pillars of creation let's take a quick look shall we this is nasa's image Links will be in description. Anyone can grab this and look at it. And I've always wanted to know why there is a little devil demon baby making some sort of deal with this little demon here. Because we've all seen babies, right? There's the little baby's ear. There's the little baby's head. And the baby, yes, has horns. And there's the little baby's forehead and his eyes and his little chubby cheeks and his little mouth, right? Here's his shoulder, which is a wing. See, the baby has wings. Isn't that interesting? And the baby's conversing and dealing and doing something with this unsightly little creature. Which, as I always say, I see these images in so many things, particularly from NASA. And they're never friendly. They're never little puppy dogs. They're never, you know, nice, friendly, playing kitty cats it's always demonic and dark and wicked always i do not know what this image is depicting but don't you think it's something the pillars of creation they speak to each other this way and mock us at the same time and i could show you images like this all day long you can go look at them yourself i just pray that you understand the deception that we live under. I'm not screaming about flat earth. I'm not saying that satellites are fake. None of it. But I'm telling you what. This is what NASA is telling you straight up with your tax money is a nebula out in space called the Pillars of Creation. That's what they're telling you. And I can show you hundreds of these. And there is a devil demon little winged angel baby and a demon probably the devil himself i don't know and explain this little completely you know obvious that doesn't belong there that they're both clasping in their hands i i mean you just somebody needs to explain this to me i've asked nasa i've actually na asked them please i've asked them for high resolution images can't find them anymore 
If you can, uh, please share with me where I can find them, and I'll show you things that will blow your mind. You all can go look at these things, if you so desire, because the truth is the truth, and NASA is the synagogue of Satan. They are just nothing but masons and liars and deceivers. End of discussion. And I'm sorry, all of them. Some of them are just useful idiots. And the deception runs so deep, it's very hard to wrap your mind around. But please try, because it's important. It's very important. Don't let it keep you from the truth, the truth of your salvation your very soul. I hope this opens someone's eyes. Peace and grace to you all, many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 